What is up, YouTube? How are y'all doing? Welcome back to the channel. So a few months ago, I introduced you guys to my 10-year-old brother, Aiden, possibly the next Daniel. We had an awesome time, and we I basically just tried to teach him some new things about Rocket League. He completely blew my mind with his skills because he had already learned so much without my help. But we're going to bring him back in here today and see what he's learned and see if we can teach him some more stuff. He also recently turned 11 years old, so he's getting old on me. But let's go ahead and bring him in. Let's get it started. All right, what is up, buddy? Welcome back. Hi. Hi. <laughs> All right, so you remember what we uh, what we did last time you were uh, you were here with me? Uh, yeah, we played a bit of casuals. Mm -hmm. We took private match on some new stuff. We did. Ooh, look at the car rocking the titanium white Finnick. I uh. I like it, man. I like it. Uh, what we're going to do today is a little different than that last one that we did. So we're just going to start off quickly with the casual twos game. I want to throw you into a pretty decently ranked match and see what you're able to do. And, you know, I just want to I want to watch your movements. I want to watch uh, your decision making skills and your consistency with mechanics. I don't want you to feel nervous at all because this is not a test. There is no way to pass or fail. Just try your best and just just play like you were playing a ranked game. OK, OK, okay. You don't don't worry. I'm just trying to get an idea of of what you've learned since the last time I brought you on here and we're gonna see how you do because I mean you I'm, my casual ranks decently high I nice shot I say as he completely misses the ball um but that's a good start though <laughs> um I want to I want to see some uh, some of that individual skill you got what, what rank are you now it's been like it's been like two and a half months or so since that last video how, how has it gone since then so I'm still hard stuck in that still hard stuck in diamond that's okay I mean diamonds diamonds a tough rank to get out of do you know how many hours you have like on this account uh just in total do you remember like what you were on the other account too i'd probably say around like 100 no wait like probably 70 80 70 hours in total yeah i think you've only what no way bro you're telling me you got that good off of 70 hours yeah i did not play a lot and when i did get gold or something i'll just quit playing for like three months <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't know. I mean, hey, fair, fair enough, dude. Well, you're you're at that age, buddy. I mean, trust me. So, you know those players that go pro and that are just insanely good, um, that are pretty young. Those guys like focus on Rocket League. So like they'll get off of school and the first thing they do when they get home is grind and play Rocket League and stuff. You are a pretty busy, pretty busy man right now, right? You you're running. You you, you play how many sports in total? Baseball. Two, I think. Two. Or three. Dude, baseball and basketball, right? Yeah. Yeah. So he, he doesn't have he doesn't have a lot of time to just sit there and grind Rocket League all day. And even with that, only let's say about probably a hundred hours in total, you're you're chilling in Diamond, man. Ooh, that was a weird bounce. That's okay. I'm, I'm starting to get a decent idea of some stuff that we can work on today. Um, so what do you think you struggle with the most right now? I remember what you struggled with um, when we talked last time in that last video. You said you struggled with rotations a little bit. Um, you, you said you wanted to get better at um, dribbles, so like ground dribbles and stuff. And I remember we did some... Uh, some training for that so we can we can revisit that a little bit today but talking to you right now what do you think you want to learn more than anything else or that you need to learn i kind of want to learn ground air dribbles ground air dribbles that's a good one those can be very useful now i will say if you want to get good at ground air dribbles one of the first things you need to uh be consistent with is just normal ground dribbles it's hard to set up a ground air dribble if you can't Ooh, that's a pretty okay. good shot he can't he can't score that he's not that guy Okay, I'm going for a bump. Nice bump, Aiden. There you go. That was a good play. That was a good play. That's actually overall a really good thing to go for. So you messed up, but then you made up for it by going for a smart bump afterwards. So like, take note from that if you're watching this right now, guys. If you make a mistake, that's fine. Just don't panic and like try to ask yourself, what can I do now? Had to, he had to go back to work. Oh, Aiden. Oh my God, what a pass. Wait, I'll try and finish it. Yes! Good pass, Aiden. Nice. I remember last time that we talked, we did... Um, I kind of ran you through some mechanics to see how you were with those. Since then, it's been about two and a half months. Like, what do you practice every day? So when you get on Rocket League, what do you do? Well, first, I, I do a dribble overhaul. Too. Okay, that's oh wait, so you have been working on the dribbles nice because dribble overhaul is a really good one And then I do speed rings 3 by DMC. That's also a classic one. Um, do you oh he got a bump on me Close good save good save you stay with it Nice. 
Um, do you use air roll while you're doing them, or do you just do normal for now? Because they're both fine. I do like half the speed uh, speed rings by, by DMC with air roll and half not get it. That was close. Um, that's good. I like that. Yeah, you definitely want to practice a little bit of air roll, even if you're not amazing with it, just because over time you'll get really good at it pretty quick. How uh, how you feeling on like things like rotation and stuff? Because last time um, I brought you in, you said you think rotation was one of the things you wanted to work on the most. I feel like I'm doing a bit better. Like I'm getting more goals consistently because I'm always rotating back post and doing everything I need to. I like that. Oh, that's just lucky. <laughs> Dang. Ah, oh, good game, good game. All right, I think we learned a good bit. So I'm going to go ahead and bring you into a private match, and we're going to try and see where you are at, okay? So, um, number one. Uh, Dax a lot. Thanks for the eight months. Guys, thank you so much for all the support today, guys. Sorry, I can't watch up, the stream as much anymore. All right, so... For now, um, I'm just going to, again, kind of test some of your abilities. I want to see some mechanics. So I'm going to stay where you're at. Don't go for the ball. I'm going to hit the ball over to you, and I want you to dribble the ball over to me and try to flick on me, okay? We did this last time. Let's see how that dribble overhaul has helped you. Oh. That's okay. The flick at the end is something that you'll get better with. Now, what I want you to do this time, I want you to dribble the ball and turn it. So remember what I said you had to do? If the ball's on top, you have to turn to your left, wait till the ball rolls to the other side, and then cut into it, okay? So I want you to try and keep the ball on top of your car. What's up, man? But, like, Looking mighty scrumptious. Right. Oh, nice. Turning. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, I'm seeing a good bit of improvement there. That's good. You're getting you're getting it, man. I'm going to teach you one of the best flicks in Rocket League. So the reason why you need to learn how to, you know, put the ball on one side of your car or the other is so you can learn how to 45-degree flick. Have you practiced 45-degree flicks before? No. Okay, so what you're going to do is, is when the ball is on one side of your car, so like look at my car right now, you see the ball's kind of on the left side. You're going to yeah. jump, and then you're going to turn your car in the opposite direction like that. And now when I jump and move my car to the right side i'm going to flip in the opposite direction that's called a 45 degree flick and uh that is one of the best flicks if not the best flick in rocket league it's very very consistent and you can get a lot of power so i just want you to try that let's see what we got actually let before you dribble it here hold on, hold on before you dribble it, let's do it just with your car so turn to me so i want you to jump and go to the right just like that jump to the right go a little bit further jump into the right there you go there it is do it again Perfect. All right. So now that you did that, when you jump and go to the right, I want you to kind of backwards flip. It's not a backwards flip. It's a little bit more of a sideways backwards flip. You know what I mean? So you, so do you, do you know like an analog clock where it's like 12 o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock? You're going to want to go for like seven, seven o'clock, I think seven or eight o'clock, somewhere in that range. So on the bottom left side of the clock that, that on your analog stick, that's where you want to dodge. So you're going to jump. Yeah. Kind of like that. There you go. So try it again. Okay, that's kind of it. Yeah. All right. So you're going to basically do that, but with the ball. Oh, God. That's okay. No, you just remember you got to try and keep the ball on top of your car a little bit. It's hard, though, but you're learning. That's what matters. You, you kind of got it. So the whole point is just that you're learning. Okay. All right. One more time. If you can't do it now, no problem. I just want you to practice that every single day. Okay. But for now, let's see how you're doing with, uh, with wave dashes because wave dashes are, are, are absolutely an essential part of like maintaining speed around the field. You can do a chain dash. So look at me. So let's say you're already, you're in this side of the net and you need to get to the orange side as fast as possible with a little bit of boost. You can just start doing this. And now you're already supersonic and you, you probably only used about 10 boost. Perfect. Let me see an air dribble. Let's see what you got. It's been two months since we last saw you run some air dribbles. Let's see if uh, if you've been practicing them. Just a normal air dribble. Doesn't have to be crazy. That's pretty. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I can definitely tell you've been doing those rings maps, man. No, nah, well that's that's a good carry. All right, now let me see. Can you throw a little bit of air roll in there, like the whole time? All right, let's see it. Let's see it. Throw some air roll. Oh, he's air. Oh, he's air rolling. Okay, nice. I can't really control it. I mean, dude, I can't lie to you. I mean, that's not like 
crazy, crazy good, but that's that's pretty dang good, man. I mean, you'll get better at it. That's the whole thing. You can't expect to like get really good immediately. Um, can you show a flip reset? That counts. That counts, buddy. That was pretty bad. No, that's. I mean, hey, it works, dude. If you do that in diamond, it's probably gonna score. I I can tell some pretty decent mechanics. Obviously, uh, pretty solid for a diamond. Do you remember that one drill I showed you about hitting the ball really hard? Oh yeah. I do that all the time. You, you still do it? Oh, I love to hear that. All right, let me show you uh, a different way of doing it. So what you're going to do is you're going to pop it high, and you're going to absolutely just smack the ball across the field. But then you're trying to set yourself up to boom the ball again as soon as it bounces or almost directly after it bounces. And then okay. you're going to just go ahead, wait, and then boom it again. And the whole goal here, you're just going to hit it as hard as possible over and over and over, okay? This drill does a lot, um, but the main thing it helps you with is learning how to get power on your touches from really awkward positioning. And it also helps you with your speed around the field because if you're just booming the ball everywhere you're going, the ball is going to be going pretty fast. So it kind of helps you recover and it helps you um, get gain speed quickly. Um, it also helps you understand how the ball bounces out of the corner because that's one of the hardest things in Rock League is learning how the ball bounces out of those types of corners because it can be really hard to read. But when you're just booming it around the field, you just kind of get used to it and you can start reading the ball and uh, hitting the ball off the corners. So finally, we're going to talk a little bit about positioning. Now, the last time I played with you, me and you had a pretty good conversation just about positioning and rotation in general. Um, when we were playing that casual match, I noticed that there was a few times it seemed like you were a little confused on where to position or where to go. I want you to pretend like I'm trying to score on you and you need to defend me, okay? Okay, so turn around and defend me again. Is that a little bit of shadow defense I see? Is that what I saw? Do you know what shadow defense is? Yeah. That's what I was going to show you. All right. What I want you to do, Aiden, is you're going to... I'm going to start on this side of the field, and you're going to shadow defend me the whole way. Basically, you're going to match my movements, because that's what shadow defense is. You're mirroring me, and then um, you're going to choose a point to challenge. So let's say I go left. You're, what are you going to do? All right, I'm cutting it right. Now what? All right. Now cut left. That's, that's pretty good. The whole point of shadow defense is to try and stay close to the ball and not give your opponent space. That way you're able to make a good defensive uh, challenge. The best way to start a shadow defensive uh, possession is you're going to challenge it, but you're going to pull away at the last moment. So let's say your opponent's on the ball and they're about to start a dribble. Pull up to me and then pull away. Yes, just like that. It's a fake challenge. So you're going to, yes, perfect. Um, so you're going to make me think that I'm going to hit the ball and around you, but then you're going to pull away at the last second and start shadow defending. All right, let's go ahead and hop into another casual game. And I want you to play this game and I want you to try and think about all the things I told you. Okay. So like mainly just the rotation stuff, make sure that you're going to the back side of the post. So the opposite side of where the play is, is where you want to position your car. And then also make sure like ground air dribbles, dribbling, try and take possession. Don't hit the ball away every time. Okay. Remember being good in Rocket League is as simple as just trying to use your head. So just make sure that you're staying away from where the play is. You don't want to double commit with me. Good job on defense. Not bad. Okay, good job. You moved away. Remember, you don't want to, you don't want to rotate into the play. So whenever you're done with the ball, you want to try and rotate away from where the ball is at that time. All right, let's see your kickoff. Oh, you, you got the speed. Okay. Dude, that's a good kickoff. I can't lie. No, like I said, buddy, you're not. You're definitely not doing the wrong things here. Here we go. There it is. Nice shot. Let's go. See what we got over here. Over one. I lagged, but it's okay. You can score it. Close. Wait, pass. Oh, my God. Well, guys, Aiden has definitely learned the art of the bump. <laughs> I use it a lot. Dude, I can tell, man. I can tell. So you can go and go for this one. Nice. So remember, uh, you did a pretty good job at it right there, but remember to try and keep the ball close on your touches. You, you kind of did it there, so... Um, but I was going to just remind you. Get in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we had to do a little something-something, buddy. You know what I mean. Come on. I'm going to let you chase a little bit for the rest of this game. There's only 15 seconds left, but let's just see what you got. Oh, I like the fake challenge. Yes. Oh, by himself. I saw the fake challenge in there too. Look, that was so good. You knew you were beat to the ball. You let him make a bad touch and then you turned into it and shot it quick. That is, that is textbook right there. Good job. 
Yay. Oh, here you go. You need to do one more? Oh, you got the boost? It's all you. Actually, I'll pass it I to have... you. Oh, well, by pass it, I mean score it again. <laughs> oh, my bad. One more to see what you got. And I'm going to try and let you do most of the stuff, okay? Is that the old ghost gaming car? Uh, it is. So this this ghost gaming decal was the, uh, the one from last year, I'm pretty sure. All right, let's see this kickoff. Dude, rolling with a speed flip on the kickoff. He's in the air. Nice, dude. There you go. Close, close. You were you, That was perfect positioning, though. You were in, like, the exact spot you needed to be there. Here you go. All you. Yeah, there you go. Going for a uh, bump? Is, did you get the bump there? Yeah. Nice, dude. Ugh. That's okay. We will win this game. Honestly, Aiden, you you know what, buddy? Let's take it to OT. Let's let, let's let him score here. Oh, are they gonna score zero question? I'm gonna let him. Nah, we're gonna let him. We're gonna let them go to OT. Oh, I like. Oh, dude, I like that you were in the air for that though. Can you go again? Defense. Oh my god, that's such a good aerial. Oh my, he's still on it. He's not done yet. Aiden. Showing us up. Oh my god, he smacked the crap out of me here. Oh no, I'm scared. Why would you be scared? You're the best player ever. Score that open net. Oh, so close, so close. Oh, I was gonna try and pass that. Good job not going for that though. Your spacing is, is good here. I like your speed too. Good oh the fake challenge. Nice man, you let me go. Wait, we might have just scored. Hey, let's go. Low five. Low five. Yes, sir. Well, buddy, I think we had another solid session today. Um, anything you want to say to the YouTube channel before we sign out? Like and subscribe. All right, buddy. I love you. I hope you have a good day, okay? Okay. Love All right. you. I'll talk to you soon, man. I love you too, buddy. All right. Always, always a pleasure having my man in there. Um, but yeah, guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like the video. Comment down below something that you enjoyed. Or maybe just if you have any ideas of something that you would like to see me do with my baby brother, please let, uh, let me know in the comments below. That way we can do it in the future. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing because we are on the road to half a million subscribers. And then I'm also live on Twitch Monday through Friday if you guys ever want to stop by and say hi. So I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.